and from a low-income neighborhood in Phoenix beat MIT and other top engineering schools to take second place at the National Underwater Robot Championship last week. The six-member team from Carl Hayden High School piloted their two homemade robots through a series of underwater tasks at the Johnson Space Center. Two years ago, the team took top honors at the competition and received a lot of international attention because many of the students are living in the U.S. illegally. Well, this year's competition had a bittersweet ending because the students learned that next year the match will take place in Canada, meaning any students that are illegal immigrants won't be able to attend for fear of not being able to return. Joining us again from the studios of KJCZ in Tempe, Arizona, our team coach Alan Cameron. Welcome. Thank you, Robin. We welcome back as well to the original students from the so-called La Vida Robot team, uh, Christian Arcega. Hi, Christian. Uh, hello. And Lorenzo Santian. Uh, Lorenzo, welcome to you as well. Hi. And Alan, uh, let's start with you. You decided that uh, no one uh, will represent the school next year at the competition. None of the students will go. Why not? Well, our school is uh, estimates are 60 to 80 percent of the kids are undocumented, and uh, we teach everybody the same. I'm not going to work in a school where I have to pick out a subset of kids that are going to have more privileges or less privileges than another group just by their birth or their citizenship. And we should say, because for people, uh, you know, perhaps living outside of the area or outside of an area where there are many illegal immigrant students, you know, they're in school legally. I mean, they're, they're you know, able to go to school. Yeah, federal law dictates that any student or any child that lives in your attendance area and shows up on the door of a public school will be educated up until the grade, 12th grade, uh, junior college, um, you know, universities, that's a different exactly. matter. Do you even ask the members of the team what they are in that uh, capacity? No, absolutely not. It's none of my business. There's a whole bunch of private questions you don't ask people. That's one of them. Well, Lorenzo, do you feel this disconnect here? You did this, you know, amazing thing as a team beating MIT, and yet parallel to that, there's this national debate about whether or not illegal immigrants should be allowed to stay in, in the country. I really don't feel as that I'm part of the country. And competing and representing the United States will be the best for me because I really don't know the country that I came from. So representing this only makes me want to do it even more, just to prove a point that everybody can have anything they want because this is, after all, America. Christian, we know you went to the Arizona State House. You testified about immigration issues. You were well received, but you know, your side lost on the issues. There's now a referendum on the state ballot in November to withdraw any state financial aid to illegal immigrants and to force them to pay out-of-state tuition at state schools. How will that impact you or people that you know? Well, that's a difficult question. I mean, the, the, re the reason behind uh, passing a bill like that would be, well, we're not telling illegal immigrants they can't go to school. We're just going to make it very, very, very hard for them to enter that school. So that would be a major drawback, and it, uh, it would create a lot of mixed feelings in Arizona if, if a bill like that passed. Well, Alan, uh, again, to bring back in the coach of this uh, science team, you and, uh, and your colleagues have been getting involved in politics yourselves. You've been giving talks about the engineering brain drain in the U.S. and how students like yours could help fill those positions. Tell us more about that. Yeah, Freddie Lajvardi, who's the other teacher, and really the, the heart and soul of this project, and I have, uh, after the publicity, we've been invited to speak to a number of groups, and the groups get bigger and bigger. And what's happening in the United States is, is we are losing our technological edge. There are fewer and fewer high school graduates going into engineering at the United States. China's going to graduate. The number that gets kicked around is 600,000 engineers per year. Uh, India, 300,000 per year. United States, 70,000 per year, and even a good number of those out of the 70,000 are international students. They aren't even our own high school graduates. And in Arizona, 10% of the population is undocumented. However, in the high schools, they're also the valedictorians, they're the science students, they're some of the brightest kids in, in the United States, and yet by statute, we are, don't want them to go to college. We talk about increasing math and science but we spend our money on sports and entertainment. Well, and to, to the issue at hand, you know, the idea that some of the members of your team, you know, were illegal immigrants. I'm just wondering, and I want to talk to the guys too, what does that do? I, you know, I see a press release from the uh, high school district 
you know, Carl Hayden finishes second in national underwater robotics event, a lot of pride. But is, is it tempered by the fact that people there must know? No, I don't think it's tempered. If anything, it's just the opposite, because we're supposed to be the losers. We're supposed to know our place. If they put in a program in our school, it should be to prevent dropouts or maybe teenage pregnancy. They would never think of putting in an advanced science class into our, into our school. So here we are representing the United States as the top school, high school university in the United States, and it's the high school in downtown Phoenix. And we didn't do it once, we didn't do it twice. This is the third year we participated. First year we took first place, second year we took third, this year we took second place. Well, Christian, you've graduated, you and Lorenzo have both graduated. We'll start with you. What are you going to do now? Well, I'm uh, enrolled with an ASU in the fall to get a mechanical engineering degree. I have a number of scholarships for that. Uh, I finished, I'm the salutatorian for my high school, so I got the presidential scholarship. And then there's a lovely the robot fund and a couple of the smaller ones, too. This was a fund that was started after you guys gained so much fame for your big win. Um, a fund was started to help you guys, you know, do higher education. Lorenzo, what are you going to do? I'm going to be going to Phoenix College, uh, Community College in Arizona, studying culinary arts for two years and declare my associate's degree. And afterwards, I'll see what I do. Do you, you know, ever find yourself thinking, you know, how lucky you are relative to other kids who, you know, might not have had this program and might be undocumented, you know, illegal immigrants. I wish everybody had this opportunity, but unfortunately not everybody that doesn't step up or doesn't want to do it or doesn't see a, a point to, to doing it. But I feel that anybody can do anything if they put their minds to it. It's not just your knowledge of physics, your ability to do calculus. It's perseverance, it's your work ethic. And these kids have that ethic. Remember, these are the parents who crossed the border and literally risk their lives, maybe walking hundreds of miles. Uh, we have hundreds of deaths in, in Arizona with people who die in the desert. They come here with their children to work, and they think the biggest privilege is the ability to work for a living so they can, they can make ends meet for their kids. Well, the kids are workaholics too. They, they have the passion. They know how they're gonna get ahead. So with X amount of knowledge and that heart, you can accomplish anything. And for three years in a row, we've been showing people that's what it takes. That's Alan Cameron, one of the coaches of the Carl Hayden Robotics team, the Falcons. Uh, and two of his graduating students, members of the team, Christian Arcega and Lorenzo Santian. Uh, we wish you both uh, well in your future. And Alan, I don't know what you're going to do without them. We have a whole bunch right behind them. Uh, there's a whole bunch of kids that are on the team, and I think we're going to even be better next year and the year after. Thank you all so much for uh, spending some time with us. Thank you, Robin. Thank you for having us, Robin. It's an honor.